schedule, who is teaching Bible? Zian? Yes. Is teaching Bible. Shirley and Sari <laughs> and Kathy is not here. So, the um, Wendy, you are already super, um, I printed prepared. these out for the teacher, so you, you're good. Okay, will you pass that back to Zian, please? Thank you. Sorry. Um, so this is the whole curriculum here um, as um, the website I printed it out for you guys last night now um, if you look if you want to go to the um, I will try to make that happen for you so this curriculum um, takes us through acts and um, we're not going to rush that is so cute. <laughs> yes. um, but it, it is, it's on the website. It is fourth through seventh grade. Hi, Bunny. One, two, three. Everybody's <laughs> like looking at the Lulu family. Um, <laughs> I love playing space. Exactly. <laughs> it's cracking me up. Oh, no. yeah. Come on, so I'm not having a connection. Oh, okay. Can I sign this? Sari's going to work on the connection, but I'll just explain it in the meantime. So this is like the, the, the basic um, uh, curriculum that we're going to use for Bible. It's fourth through seventh grade. Well, we've got kindergartners and we've got 12th graders. Okay, so what you'll do is you will, um, all right, okay, let me back up. So there's a map that's used here. Next is vocabulary. I didn't build vocabulary in. If you want to use this for vocabulary, feel free to do that. I didn't use that as part of our study, okay? But anyway, it's in there. Um, but how it works is that you'll read, or mom, you'll read to your kids the, um, the introduction, and then it has questions. For kindergarten through third, so the document that Sari is, trying, is coming up with is all of those gaps. So you will look at and it'll say, here's um, lesson one, day one. So you'll go to this other sheet and it will say, um, like I put it in there because we weren't sure how we were gonna break up, you know, kindergarten through first or if we were gonna do kindergarten through second. So I just marked it as early primary, middle primary, middle school and high school. So that you in your own mind can go, this is for early primary. Where and what are you talking about? What did you mark? Syllabus. <coughs> so I so syllabus? yeah, on okay. a syllabus. So okay. so this is a this is our curriculum, but I also have a separate online sheet that is a syllabus for I you do. to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't display it's on the laptop and for some reason our connection is not it's not putting it up on the screen. I can't even get my cursor over here, so sorry. Just keep going. Okay. But it will look like, I guess I probably should have printed it out. So it kind of just looks like a document, like a Word document, okay? It's a Google document, and on the side, it has to where you can go directly to whatever week you're at, so you don't have to scroll through it. If it's now you're on week seven, on the side over here, it says week seven, you'll click on that, and it'll take you directly to it, kind of like an, an accordion document. And this will be in... This will band. be in band. So when you go to do Bible, you'll look at your curriculum. This I only printed out for the teachers. Your curriculum is also online. So you will download it. We will give you a link and you will download all of this onto your computer. Okay? Um, what I will do is be, these will be given to each student. So the parts that are filled out, like these parts where you can fill it out, we'll print those out and you're, we'll give those to your students. We already have them for the Okay, okay. So, except for Wendy, because she's already on top of the, um, be, That's be, a lot of printing. Yeah. It is a lot of printing. So, and so I might consider students, not yeah. even printing it for the, the early primary, um, more for the, the writers, you know. Um, but basically, so you'll go here to this day, then you'll go to the, um, syllabus and on the syllabus it'll say early primary here's a YouTube video and you'll watch the YouTube video you know for the littles they can watch and then there's an animated thing on there for them or it might be whole family 
draw this map out together. That's awesome. Thank you um, for like color in this, find this together. Or it might be if you've got um, like middle primary and early primary. So if you got a fourth grader in a kindergarten, you can be like, um, use these dolls and enact what you just learned, you know? Or um, there might be a little art project. Or for high schoolers, it's a little bit more in depth. Um, middle schoolers and high schoolers, I kind of have them doing the same thing. So for them, it'll be a little bit more thought process, like journaling and um, writing out their prayer. So um, one thing that I learned that has been super helpful for me is one of our, um, Priscilla Schreier uses this uh, method of pray, which she uses the acronym PRAY. And so where you praise, repent, um, ask, and then yield. And so in their journal, if they have things to, you know, that I'm asking them to consider or think about, or how does that affect you, or read through this commentary or something, and then write in your journal, then you can write your prayer out in that, in that format if you want to, but I highly recommend it anyway. Um, so it will, Makes sense with that other form. It's a really kind of specific question, but do you consider <coughs> day one to be Monday or Tuesday? Or so how it's going to work? That's a really good question because you would think that day one is Monday, mm -hmm. um, but and I'm not exactly sure how I did it in I there. Consider it it's days in the week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, but, but yeah, according to you, but yeah. there are times when we will only have three days of school that week because we'll be doing a service project or a field trip. So I made a, a it's a, so by the time we get to week seven or week 13, we're still on chapter seven. We're still on week seven in this, okay? So um, it's not necessarily going to line up exactly because of the other things that we're doing. Um, and I really don't feel like shoving Bible, you know? I mean, I already kind of feel like filling these things out feels like school to me mm -hmm. a little bit, and I really don't want Bible to just be another subject, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, I've really tried to put things in there because like my oldest will probably watch the early primary videos and learn from that, <laughs> to be honest. Like she's not going to like, she's, she just doesn't like to do Bible, like homework. And so, um, Anyway, does that make sense? So online, there'll be a link where you can download this, all this stuff. We will print out these things for you where, for the writers, where they can fill it in. And for the ones that can't write, it's discussion. It's discussion. So it's like, explain to somebody, what does the kingdom of God mean, you know? And, or, you know, tell somebody what you learned. So then would you say that each of your kids necessarily needs their own lesson? at home or it just depends on their age the, all the reading the reading like should part. i was it even worthwhile for me to print that the that reading part, part for no. my seventh grader mm -mm. i don't think so because if you're going to sit there and do it together as a family yeah. um, but i just printed this for the teachers who are doing bible because i thought it would be helpful for but them if i'm to telling my high schoolers to go off and do it by themselves which i don't want but to do even then but they could probably read it online themselves yeah right so so for um, people that haven't done what I just did, you don't need to necessarily print everything. Yeah, don't kids. print, don't print, you don't need to print anything because I'm gonna print for you the, the these handwritten parts and then um, <coughs> the rest of it you can do online. Well, you might, well, I, I just like physical paper, mm -hmm. but. I do too, um, but even as I've done it, I haven't, I haven't printed, I've only printed these two parts. But they won't, so reading that at home will be different than what they do in class. Absolutely. So, so that leads into how do you teach a Bible class? So if, um, if you're, so you as a Bible teacher, okay, is it, am I doing the right things there? Like, is this what I want to do? Mm -hmm.